Cohen with the AP. Jay, you can go ahead. Hey, hi, Jeremy. Can you uh, take us through uh, yesterday and today for you, like when you heard about what was going on, the team and the report? And then uh, I guess hearing from Connor and Alex, uh, the, the players were addressed, I guess, by someone with the organization uh, this morning. Can you tell us who that was and, and kind of what their message was? Yeah, I'll see if I can hit all the points here. Um, so yesterday, obviously, uh, you know, with the report coming out and and uh, first and foremost, I mean, that was tough to, to see what's in it. Uh, we know that, hey, that can't happen. And uh, I think obviously the Blackhawks are pretty strong on that, on their views. Um, you know, tough day, you know, obviously personally, uh, with with Stan uh, leaving, uh, let's so this, we can get into that if if you wish. Um, we're running practice, trying to get the team ready to play. So you know that that's a lot of my focus as a coach. I I have to take care of the players and do everything I can to get them ready for today. And then uh, this morning, uh, Danny spoke to the team. And, uh, you know, obviously addressing the, uh, what's happened the day before. And I think the over overriding message was uh, that we're, you know, we as an you know, organization, we're here for you. The, the family is behind us, the organization's behind us, and uh, you know, we're going to do everything we can to, to move forward here. Next question is Scott Powers with The Athletic. Scott, you can go ahead. Hey, Jeremy. You mentioned personally it was tough with with Stan Bowman. What what were the feelings with, with that? Yeah, I mean, you know, first of all, Stan's the one who gave me the chance to, to come to the organization in, in Rockford, first of all, and, and then uh, here in Chicago. And he's he's been a great uh, you know mentor for me and someone to learn from. And obviously, he's got so much experience, and, and so it's hard to see. You know, it's I feel feel bad for him, obviously. Uh, it doesn't what's in the report you can't you know it, it's tough to tough to read uh, tough to you know as an organization obviously we we don't stand for that um, I can say that the stand that I that I know and that I've been dealing with uh, that's not that's not how it's not his values so um, you know, it's it's hard to separate the two but um, personally I just think that uh, you feel for him while also understanding that uh, hockey culture we, we got to make sure we're doing the right things and, and the values that, that we're coming to work with every day they got to be the right ones have you had any conversations with, with Kyle yet and, and I guess about your own job security or what this means for you yeah I, for me it's Working with Kyle is not a, a new thing. I mean, Kyle's been involved um, in the management group here and someone that I speak to regularly and obviously now even more so. Uh, so we've had a bunch of conversations already and, and he's around this morning and that's, we're getting ready for a game tonight. Next question is from Tracy Myers with NHL.com. Tracy, you can go ahead. Hi, Jeremy. Thanks for doing this. I actually wanted to ask you about the game lineup wise. It looked like there was only 18 guys out there. So do you call anybody up tonight, uh, starting goalie? And also, how do you focus on the game tonight? Thank you. Yeah. Well, as far as lineup goes, I think it's in the situation we're in, it's premature to announce one. Uh, so we'll see how things look tonight. Uh, and I think for from our the team's perspective, uh, the focus needs to continue to be on, on being harder to play against, um, being sharp defensively and, and not allowing teams to, we, we got to force them to earn their chances and uh, be harder to beat. It's been something we've been talking about. The last game was a step back. We got to take a, we got to take a step forward and uh, making sure we have energy we're a skating team and we're managing the puck and if we need to put pucks in behind them again, the four check, that's what we're willing to do to win. And uh, 
I thought the last couple of days of practice have been what we need as far as the, I think the work ethic was excellent and the energy was excellent. And now we got to bring that into the game. We'll take a few more. Uh, next is Mark Lazarus with The Athletic. Mark, you can go ahead. Hi, Jeremy. Uh, as a coach, obviously, you set a lot of the culture in that room. What, what steps have you taken over the last few years to make sure guys are comfortable speaking up? If, I mean, not, obviously, hopefully nothing of this magnitude, but that, you know, the, the, like you mentioned, hockey culture, it, it's hard for guys to step up and say, you know, how they're feeling or what's happened to them. How, how have you helped to build a culture to, to, to make that easier on guys? I think ultimately it's just about doing the right thing. Uh, treat people how you want to be treated. You support them. You want them to feel that they, uh, as a, if you're in a leadership position, you want, you want the people you lead to feel that they can come to you and talk to you at any time. And, uh, I think that's just, that's just the right thing to do. It's not, uh, for, for most people, that's, it's pretty standard. So, uh, Sometimes in hockey, it, it becomes about, you know, it's all, all business and it's about, you know, it's a results focus. I actually, I don't think that's how you get results. I think you get results by, by doing the right thing and taking care of each other. And so that's, to me, that's what it boils down to. And you can, whatever issue you want to talk about, that, that those values, they'll take care of you, I believe. Do you ever feel that pressure, the, the the push and pull of, like they said, team performance overall else? Um, not in a way that gets, I, I don't feel, to me, that doesn't get in the way of being a good, being a good person and being supportive of the people you lead. And, uh, or if you're, not, maybe you're, you're further down the, the chain, you treat people how you want to be treated. You support them. You lift them up when you can. Uh, do the right thing. So, I, I think that's that doesn't get in the way of team performance. I don't believe. Next question is from Phil Thompson with the Trib. Phil, you can go ahead. Jeremy, what can you tell us about Kyle as an evaluator and as a manager? Well, I think from from my interactions. Hard worker and wants wants information and likes to you know, have discussions about players and you know, how the team's playing and all those things. Um, I mean, I obviously it's we'll get to know each other a little more now, but uh, it's not as if it's a it's a brand new relationship. Uh, and I think obviously he's he's risen up pretty quickly and our organization, it says a lot about what he brings to the table. With all that came out with the report yesterday, does it uh, affect your perspective of, about the people that uh, you may have personally worked with or about the Blackhawks Cup legacy? Um, well, I think what's in the report is it, it's unacceptable, right? I mean, that's, that's without debate. Uh, as far as the Blackhawks organization now and how we run things now and what I've been exposed to during my time here since I got here in Rockford or, or in my last few years of the Blackhawks, it's not how we run things. So uh, that's, that would be my response there. We'll have two more. Uh, Charlie, Rumel Charlie Rumeliotis with NBC Sports is next. Charlie, you can go ahead. Hey, Jeremy. Uh, I know a lot of fans that wear the, the pride of this team on their sleeve are kind of wrestling with, with how to move forward, given everything that happened. What message would you give to them um, as, as they try to separate what happened and also the, the culture that has changed moving, moving going in the future here? Well, we're trying to do the right thing on and off the ice and uh, no one's perfect. I'm not perfect, uh, but we're trying to do the right thing off the ice. Obviously my job uh, is, is directly related to the on ice results, but I'm trying to do the right thing on and off the ice so that we can perform at a high level and be a team that 
people in Chicago are proud of sports. So uh, that's what we're working towards every day. Uh, final on. question. Oh, sorry, Jeremy. Uh, final question will be from Ben Pope. Ben, you can go ahead. Hey, Jeremy. When did Stan tell you um, that he was resigning and just what was your conversation like with him? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's something I want to flesh out in media. I think uh, obviously yesterday is when everything happened. Uh, it's a tough day for everyone in a lot of ways. And uh, can I move on? Fair enough. Uh, as far as tonight, how do you kind of redirect the team's focus to you know, trying to win a game, uh, considering how important it is and despite all the distractions and stuff weighing over them? Yeah. No, obviously it, it's – it's a little extra than normal as far as the distractions going on. But um, I think when you're when you're a hockey player or you're a hockey coach or you're involved in this business, um, that's just part of it sometimes. So we know we got to play better. And uh, as I said, I think we had two really good practices in, uh, on Monday and Tuesday and good spirits this morning. And it was a good meeting with Danny and, now we gotta we gotta perform and I think uh, ultimately again the result is secondary to how we play. And uh, we know we need results, but we don't get them unless we play better. So that's that's gotta be the focus. Thank you, Jeremy.